Hey guys, we are back to the uninhabited house with the Japanese gardener and I am done with it. I have already done a quick score check and the game does not like my layout, but I don't give a shit. I'm, I like the layout. So there we go. This is going to be our final walkthrough. I am done with the garden again, but I will come back and do another video a little later so that you guys can actually see the garden at night. All the bamboo torches are actually on. We have also decided that they are not bamboo torches. They are bamboo solar lights with really, really fancy holographic style flames. They're fake, so nothing will get set on fire and it's economically, or er, environmentally friendly and economically friendly because that wouldn't cost a lot since it's solar. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, <laughs> moving on through the garden. As you all saw that one earlier, this side is done. I have finished this side. I also did not put the fountain here and decided to put the, pro the fire pot instead because the fountain was a lot bigger. It just did not look right. So. I did get my idea in of the big koi pond in the middle with two bridges over the sides. You can't see it because it's all covered up with flowers, but it still has the rocks that run underneath as well. Lots and lots of flowers and bamboo. And yeah, a lot of flowers. Holy guacamole. And then the other corner here. I'm leaving all the fire pots and stuff lit so that when I come back through at night, it's all lit up already. And then the other side, the smaller side. And the final pond and bridge and bench over here and then back to the garage. And that is it for the garden. Um, I very much put a lot of work into this. Screw you game that you don't like the layout. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, do a quick run down inside. We have what was the garage, what was a living room, our hallway, this was a bedroom, this was a bathroom, this was a kitchen with a little table, and then back to the garage. Upstairs we had a storage room, a bedroom, another bedroom, and a bathroom. So as mentioned before, this house is being designed by a friend of mine. So when I know what style they want, or not style, I already know what color I'm doing the walls, what type of rooms they want in the house, we will uh, get back into it and get started on doing the inside. And I will come back later with a video of the garden at night for you guys so that you can see it all lit up. It looks really cool. I like it. So, till then, toodaloo!